right, well, welcome back. First off, I want to apologize for the lapse in videos. And um, for those of you that have followed this channel, you know that um, making videos is certainly one of my favorite things to do. Things have gotten very, very busy here, uh, both at work and with AMP3. And we are frantically building kits as fast as we can to satisfy outstanding orders and we are also building up a supply of kits and um, modules and bags to take to a couple of big shows coming up that we wanted to share with you. I actually made some notes for this video because there are some points that I want to cover and um, you'll notice down below that there should be some detailed notes as well as links to follow for anything that you're interested in that we, uh, we bring up here. One thing I wanted to uh, say, and I've said this many times before, and it certainly uh, bears repeating, and um, it comes from both myself, Beth, and Matthew. We so much appreciate the uh, very generous support and encouragement that we're receiving for AMP3. We get some awesome emails and more importantly, and I think something that's really fun for us is meeting people um, at shows and um, this last um, gun show in uh, Portland was no exception. And I don't think I'm breaking any confidentiality here, but I can say um, uh, we, we've, we've had some great people stop by and visit, and, so, and some of them have visited us um, very regularly. Um, Kevin and his wife, it's awesome to see them, and um, I always enjoy shaking Kevin's hand and find out what he's up to and giving his wife a big hug. Uh, Chris and his wife, it was so fun seeing you guys, and um, Chris, I, I love talking with you on the radio, so he... He definitely follows along uh, whenever we're on Echo Link. I can almost count on hearing his call sign come over. And um, it's, it's just fun to always try and hook up with you, whether we're doing RFRF or Echo Link. So, again, appreciate the support. And it was always um, very cool to meet your wife. I think we all have very similar uh, views. And I also wanted to um, say... Uh, Thank you to Shane. Now, Shane has been emailing Beth back and forth, and he stopped by the show for a will call pickup on an order that he made. And um, it was very fun meeting his family and to shake his hand. And it kind of made the hair on my arm stand up. I've said that before. But just to listen to how much he appreciates um, the videos and the kits really is something that spurs us along and gives us encouragement that we're doing the right thing. So, uh, Shane, thank you, buddy, and um, hope you don't need to use that kit. And I look forward to talking with you on the radio as now, well. Now, another thing that I wanted to share, and um, I don't think he'll mind, and I will not use a last name or a radio call sign, but when we were in Reno, um, again, at that gun show, we just met some very neat people. Um, I can remember standing there one afternoon talking with a law enforcement officer um, who had retired but was sharing some of his stories and um, some close calls. And Beth and I encouraged him to record those stories for prosperity and to share with his family. Um, in the future. Um, that conversation was meaningful enough to him that he stopped by the next morning with his wife and it was fun to meet her. Um, and we again reminisced on some stories and uh, how important it is to record these memories for our family um, in the future. But I also talked with a, um, a, a guy who, um, ham radio operator, um, obviously loves being prepared and uh, firearms, but also a woodworker. And we talked about different woods, and I had mentioned to him that I had never worked with Purple Heart. And, uh, well, Roger, I came home um, the other day from a very, very difficult shift, and there was a little box sitting on my desk, and I opened it up, and there's a very nice note 
I'm going to share the note real quick, um, but uh, won't reveal any um, identifying information. Uh, Dr. Pruitt, I had a chance to talk with you at the recent gun show in Reno. I'm a subscriber to your YouTube channel. I'm sure you talked to many folks and can't remember us all. I do remember talking with you though. Woodworking is definitely one of those topics that I remember. One of the topics of our chat was woodworking with purple heartwood and how you haven't had a chance to work with it yet. Enclosed is a small sample of the finished project. I did not turn these myself. I work one day a week at a school for kids who need a little more guidance and attention. One of, the pro one of the programs is a wood turning class. I gave the kits to a student and let him explore his creative side. I hope you enjoy my way of saying thank you to you for a great channel and inspiring me to get my general ham license. Hope to see the pencil in a shop video soon. Roger. What a cool story. And um, so I opened the box and inside is a beautiful wooden box and there is a matching pen and pencil set turned with purple heart and um, boy they are absolutely beautiful I'm gonna roll in um, on this video a close-up of this pen, pen and pencil set so you can see the craftsmanship um, and I, I'm, not a, I'm not a turner yet, um, but I can tell you it must be very, very satisfying to take a small scrap of wood that you might throw away, pop it on your lathe and turn a pen or pencil, and then more importantly, the pride to share that with a friend. Um, and that's a lasting memory. So Roger, thank you very much, my friend, and 73. Kind of late warning on this, um, but uh, this is a little checkbox for me on something I've been meaning to get done for a couple of years, and um, I'm going to say thank you to Hinkley Poland, um, and I'll give links to his YouTube channel as well, but um, we've been back and forth many times, um, both on private messages and um, shared email, and also um, on the phone. And he's um, one of a couple of sets of extra eyes on the ground in Arizona, um, should anything ever need to be deployed to help my daughter. So, um, Andrew, uh, thank you so much for that and also your generous support and kind encouragement. But most importantly, um, thank you for facilitating um, finally getting on the air with uh, you and Adam at Equipped to Endure. Now I've been a fan of Adam's for a long time, um, kind of weaving in and out of his content on his YouTube channel. And um, I have had him pop up on Skype a number of times and I just am not able to uh, respond immediately, but we've been talking about getting on for a quick interview and um, for me, it's just a very exciting thing because I, I, I like what those guys are doing. So tonight, and I'll put down below um, the link, and you may not catch this in time, but you can certainly listen to their radio podcast. We are going to get a chance to talk back and forth. They contacted me for an interview. I'm looking at it more of a chance to talk with a crew that I really respect and admire. Um, Adam has really done some great work with knife reviews, uh, survival, bushcrafting, canine training, and uh, if you follow his channel, there's been some really awesome guests that he has rolled in, um, including some guy that I respect quite a bit, Doug Ritter. So um, I, 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 I very much appreciate those communities and. Um, to me, it's an honor to be able to talk with those guys. So anyway, that'll be tonight, um, 9 o'clock, 2100 hours Eastern Standard Time, and it will be uh, 6 o'clock or 1800 hours um, Pacific Standard Time. So I'm going to try and get this video out real quick, and hopefully anybody that wants to plug in, you can just click the link below. And um, if you have interest, you can certainly catch it later on and uh, listen to the podcast on the 
Preparedness Radio Network.